small Watch the clock ticking off the wall But tonight I'm letting it go Spend my coin for sure I'm gonna be myself Or I could be someone else No one's stopping me now I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I just wanna feel alive It's just what I do when I'm out so Um, I have came down to the pool this morning, Laurel's away to work, uh, this is her first day back, she's still not 100% but <laughs> she's forcing herself in. Um, Lauren's still up the stairs just kind of recharging our batteries, we're hoping that if she has a wee easy day then later on we'll all be able to go to the timeout market. Um, it's like a kind of a food, like a street food sort of thing. Um, which I'll hopefully be able to show you later and then hopefully watch Dubai Fountains at the Burj Khalifa but I've came down to the pool now and if I turn round you can see there's the Burj Khalifa there <laughs> so you can see it from the pool at Laurels um, there's this wee small one here oh can't do this backwards oh, that one there there's a jacuzzi this is so hard and then um, if I go around this way there's a big pool there. So it's really, really good. This is the first morning that I've been here that nobody else has been here, so I thought I would just show you really quickly. But um, I'll turn around the camera and I'll show you the skyline as well while I finish off my Tim Hortons, which was delivered within 28 minutes. <laughs> I could get far too used to this, honestly. So yeah, that's like the skyline that you can see from here. Um, there's more buildings all the way around. Another gorgeous day. I just think it's so cool that while you're kind of sunning yourself, when you look up, you can see the Burj Khalifa. Absolutely love it. Hello again. It is now three o'clock. Um, went down to the pool this morning, late morning. <laughs> Um, went back up, had a wing stop for lunch, it was so good. Um, Lauren managed to eat a couple of the chicken nuggets, so that was even better. Um, and now I have just got to Miracle Gardens um, here in Dubai. It's a wee bit further out. The taxi was probably about half an hour to get here. Um, I think it was like 52 dirhams-ish. I'll double check and I'll put it uh, down the bottom somewhere. But the first thing that I noticed when I get here I look at this text, what does it remind you of if you're a seasoned Florida goer? <laughs> it's that eye that stuck out a mile. <laughs> it's definitely Disney fun, isn't it? So I am going to go in. I, again, I booked my ticket on Get Your Guide. I only booked it about an hour before coming here. It was 16.44, I think it was, pounds. Um, and that was on the Get Your Guide app and again they've just sent a wee QR code which you can add to your Apple wallet probably on like Google devices and whatever as well um, so yeah, here we go this is it as soon as you come in it's already absolutely stunning I feel as though I'm at Flower and Garden Festival <laughs> I feel as though I'm in Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> I went down to the rabbit hole. That's just so gorgeous. All the different colours of flowers, it's so vibrant. Thank you. 
There are lots and lots of places to eat if you come here. All around this wee section to the left as you come in. I don't know how far around it goes, but just good to know. One thing I've definitely noticed so far about Dubai is how helpful people are. Um, everywhere I've went, everybody's just been so pleasant, so helpful. Obviously I've been out and about on my own quite a lot, with the girls not being well, and I'm constantly asking strangers, hi, would you mind taking my photo? Or like, I volunteer to do it for them and then they do it back. Um, and it is, it's just really, really nice. People are so helpful, whether it be like other tourists or people who are Emirati that live here. Um, I felt very safe everywhere that I've went on my own and I think that's such an important thing to consider, especially as a female if you're travelling alone. So yeah, just wanted to put that out there because it is, it's, it's just lovely here. People are so nice. Nearly everywhere you go here as well, there are these wee benches and shaded areas. So if the heat's a bit much, you can stop and just appreciate the lovely view and chill a wee bit and cool down before you move on. Probably every Scottish person here makes the same joke, but I've just found the Kelpies. <laughs> I think I found the start of the Disney bit. I cannot get over how gorgeous it is here. So much attention to detail, it is insane. Absolutely stunning. Find some Smurfs. It's a whole area with loads of them. There's one there. And then if we go around here, there's lots more. If you're a football fan and a Smurfs fan, just found the perfect mashup for you. This is really cool. <laughs> I think it's World Cup themed from the last World Cup in Qatar. Seem to have all the teams represented that were there. And the World Cup itself. just to stop and get myself a wee ice cream. Just went for a plain vanilla. Um, let's see if it's any good. I'm so boring getting vanilla, but never mind. <laughs> Lovely and creamy. Um, I got a bottle of water as well. And what I've done 
I just poured it into my chilli bottle. Um, I don't normally take one of these when I go to Florida because you can kind of get water everywhere and top bubs and whatever. But I brought it here because I thought it's so, so hot. And honestly, it's been worth its weight in gold. Um, and it just means as well, if you do buy a cold water, you can pour it in and then it stays cold for so much longer. I'm not actually obvious, but honestly, it's been absolutely brilliant. And if, like me, you kind of struggle with drinking a lot of water on its own, I always bring these with me. Um, again, not an ad or anything, as if. <laughs> but um, they're so, so good. I just brought one of these. It is starting to run out because I, I do drink quite a lot of water, but they're absolutely brilliant because it just keeps you hydrated, especially in this heat. Um, but yeah, it's just been absolutely lovely here, so I'm going to sit and enjoy my ice cream. <laughs> Maybe not, but it's still quite cute. Going to head down and have a closer look at the castle before I probably start heading out. But this has been lovely. So, so nice. £16.44 well spent. <laughs> I think this is Rapunzel having a good hair day. Love that for her. <laughs> One thing that I've definitely learned this trip and a wee bit on the last trip to Disneyland Paris is um, I could really do with buying a tripod for my phone to take some pictures. Um, just because both times I've ended up like flying solo, which is fine and strangers have been really good. But you just feel awkward interrupting them all the time. Um, I've got like my Apple Watch and I can use that for the camera with my phone which is really helpful but obviously if there's nowhere to set your camera to get a nice picture it'd be helpful to have a wee tripod stand so yeah that's something I've learned on this trip that I'll probably look into getting I think that is me finished here at Miracle Gardens look at all these love hearts behind me <laughs> so cool um, I've seen everything there is to see um, I've walked around all the different displays, it's been absolutely lovely. Um, it's definitely getting busier as the day goes on. It is now 5 o'clock and it's definitely a lot busier than when I arrived a couple of hours ago. So the plan is that I'm going to get a taxi, hopefully there's one outside, um, and it will take me to Dubai Mall and then I will meet the girls either there or at the Time Out Market. Um, there's not any Wi-Fi here, so I've actually got no idea what's going on. <laughs> but I'm sure it'll all be alright in the end. What could possibly go wrong? So yeah, I will hopefully see you again when I get to Dubai Mall. Just a wee piece of information as I'm leaving. Um, I went to leave out the gate that I came in and I asked one of the security guards if that was the best place to get a taxi and he said that gate one is the best place so I've just walked around to gate one and if I turn you around you can see that over here is a whole load of taxis um, the ones that are kind of like the sandy colour with either like blue, yellow, red roofs I think it usually is, there's green there as well um, they seem to be the sort of legal taxis apparently if the meter's not on, then it's like not legal, which I suppose is the same as anywhere, but um, just good to know. I have made it to Dubai Mall um, behind me. 
is the Burj Khalifa. I love it here, it's so nice. I'll turn you around and show you quickly. It's just like this whole area is like a wee sort of boardwalk area. Um, and then over there is inside the mall and like eating places. And then obviously we've got the Burj. And then this bit here um, is a time out market. But also it's Souk Al Bahar. And apparently that's like a nice wee souk as well where we're going to have a look. Um, yeah. So to get from Dubai Miracle Gardens to here, it was about 78 dirhams. So probably about 18 pounds or something. But it was a 35 minute journey. And for that, I really don't think that was that bad. I thought the taxi price was really reasonable. Um, for me to pay that to get from like, I don't know, like from my house to Glasgow city centre, it would have been at least three times that price, if not more. So, like for the same journey. So yeah, I really can't grudge it. But um, the girls are on their way, they're in a taxi, they're both feeling a wee bit better. We'll see how long that lasts. <laughs> but um, hopefully they'll be here soon. Laurel's just texted that they're nearly here, so we'll meet up with them in a wee minute or two. Time out market. So we're just going to have a nosy around and see what there is. Laurel has very kindly treated us to some garlic knots. Here, these are your favourite. The best. And we, we hear that they're Emma's favourite as well. So, so Emma, we're having these for you. <laughs> okay, so we've got the garlic knots, and the girls are just about managing to eat something. Lauren. Uh, it's been wonders for my appetite. <laughs> is it the I'm best? Not for a long time. <laughs> is it the best garlic knot that you've ever had? It is the best garlic knot I've ever had. I think I've only had about two other garlic knots, but yeah, it's up yeah. There. It makes it go down. <laughs> she was definitely having a wee moment there, wasn't she? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No judgment, but she was lovely. Yep. Yeah. I think that's like the second thing that you've had. Oh, there's my buzzer going. <laughs> I think this is the second thing you've had other than like a chicken goujon, isn't mm -hmm. it, in about three days? Yeah. <laughs> Loving life. Yeah, I feel like Tess, you had your moment in Versace. <laughs> <laughs> Lauren's having a wee teary moment because she's actually able to eat something. <laughs> I feel like this is me with the sun upon the other day. <laughs> We're all just sitting here giggling. We're socialising. We're socialising. <laughs> Made it out. <laughs> just in time for the flight home. <laughs> Wait. Hey. Need to Dubai round three. I know we've already said, haven't we? Um, the Laurel will need to stay here a bit longer so that we can come back out again. Trip a do over. Trip number two. Yeah. Honestly, it's been doomed from the beginning. I'm too lucky. Yeah. The first one was totally cancelled in 2020. Then we rebooked this one and you get sick. Laurel gets sick first. Day one. Day one. Yep, so we went. The water park is the only time that all three of us have been top notch healthy. Yep. And even then, I was coughing like a seal most of the day. <laughs> and then. And then by the night of that same day, by Friday night, we were in Cheesecake Factory and Laurel started to get not well. And then by Sunday night, by the time we went to Madinat, Lauren started to be not well. So it's, so it's just been doomed. So we're saying the third time is going to be the charm, so we'll just need to come back again. But show us what you've got. Uh, bang, bang, chicken, bang, bang. Yum. 
It's really nicely presented as well. Such a cool wee thing it's on. Um, I've got the same over here. It was 49 dirhams. And we'll let you know how it is. Okay, so for my next course, I'm <laughs> just working my way around everywhere. I got the chicken shawarma and it came with three fries and it was 25 dirhams. Okay, here's my shawarma. I'm going to dip in a wee bit of garlic mayo. This is inside the souk that's just beside Time Out Market. It's a very fancy one. It's lovely, so detailed. All the architecture in Dubai has just been like out of this world. This is us. We've just came out of the Time Out Market. That's just in there. That stores there. And um, we've stepped out on um, one of the Dubai fountain shows as well. And it's even singing happy birthday to me a wee minute ago, which is very nice of it. Since my birthday's in April. <laughs> Can't tell what's wrong or right. Should I go without saying goodbye? Three, two, 
two, one, pressure! from sunny sort of Scotland. <laughs> it is now a few weeks later, the tan has faded, the nails have changed, sad times. But um, I just wanted to kind of finish off the vlog because I went to edit it and then realised that I hadn't actually done that. So that's what we're going to do just now. We had such a good trip. Obviously it didn't work out the way that we were planning on doing it um, when both Laurel and Lauren ended up with that sort of bug that they had. Um, so it's kind of like mixed reviews a wee bit because I did still have a really nice time. I was able to go out and make the most of it because I didn't catch the bug. But at the same time it obviously wasn't the same because we were planning on doing like more together. Um, but it's just one of those things, I don't really know what else we could have done differently. Um, we still had a really nice time spending time with each other and that's the most important thing. And we got to see Laurel over in Dubai, which is something that we've been wanting to do for years now. So that was really, really good. Dubai itself was brilliant. Everywhere was like just spotlessly clean, smelled amazing. Everyone that I spoke to was so friendly, so helpful. Everywhere was really like family orientated as well, so it's definitely somewhere um, that I would say if you've got kids, it would be a good place to go. Um, you know, the water park and inside the malls and whatever, it, you know, it was very much catered towards families. Uh, the food we had was really, really good, or what I had, they didn't have very much. <laughs> but it was really nice getting some kind of old favourites from all the Florida trips. Places like the Cheesecake Factory, um, Shake Shack. I tried a wing stop for the first time and I'm now completely obsessed and can't stop thinking about it. Things like Cinnabon as well. Um, what else did I have? There was something else. Oh, the Charlie's Philly Steak. It was lush also. Um, but uh, it was just really, really good. And there were so many times where I was walking about where if it wasn't for the signs being written in the shops and restaurants and whatever in Arabic as well as English, where I could have sworn that I was in a mall in America. It was so, so similar. Um, the Burj Khalifa was just out of this world. I wouldn't say going up it was the most life-changing experience of my life. <laughs> Um, I think the day that we went up, it was, I say we went up, I keep saying we because I'd bought two of the tickets, but it was only me that actually ended up going up on that day. Um, but the day that I went up the Burj Khalifa, it was quite a kind of smoggy day. Now, I'm not sure if it was because we were so high up that it made it difficult to see or if it was just we were unlucky with timing, but it kind of felt as though the view wasn't as great as it could have been. We didn't see very far. I keep saying we. Why do I keep saying we? I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, the barge was good, but if I'm totally honest, I preferred looking at it from the outside up the way because it was just like so stunning, so much kind of grandeur to it. Um, for visiting for like a view over Dubai, I personally preferred Dubai Frame. It was a lot cheaper as well and it gave you the two different like perspectives of old Dubai and new Dubai. But like I say, I loved looking at the Burj Khalifa when I was at Dubai Mall or the Time Out Market or just in general as we were passing by. Just could not get enough of it, just looking up and seeing how tall it was and all like the sparkly lights at night time. It is such an icon. It was, ah. Uh, it was stunning, but I definitely don't think I would be that fussed about going back up it again. I think it was very much like a kind of one and done. Enjoyed going to all the v Dubai Mall and whatever as well. I kind of showed you most of what I bought in the vlog from Dubai Mall because it was only really the Bath and Body Work stuff and um, the, the loungewear set from American Eagle Outfitters. I didn't buy anything else while I was there, apart from food, like Cinnabon. <laughs> um, and at the Sooks, I didn't really buy much either because I didn't spend as much time at them as what I thought I was going to. Um, but one of the things that I did buy, if you've ever seen um, Sex in the City 2, I think it is, um, Carrie Bradshaw buys a wee pair of, well she buys like real ones for wearing, but I saw these wee shoes uh, that's what they're like at the back. 
Now, obviously they're not for wearing, right? Because I just could not ever pull them off. I'm nowhere near that cool. But I thought for a wee gallery wall, they would be really nice as like my wee sort of thing from Dubai, um, from a trip there. Of course, I didn't notice till I got back to Laurel's apartment that they don't actually match. I don't know if you can see it there, but um, I just think that's quite a funny story. <laughs> So, so yeah, so that was the only other thing I bought apart from like the wee magnets and things for family. Um, yeah, but it was such a good trip from my perspective. I would absolutely love to go back. Um, I don't think Lauren was ready to talk about it yet. The last time that we did start mentioning going back, <laughs> she was still a wee bit traumatised. <laughs> Um, so hopefully at some point we will get back to Dubai and visit Laurel again and hopefully there won't be a sickness bug that takes out two thirds of the travel party but these things happen and it is what it is. But on that note, thank you so so much for watching. I know this was a very different series to the Florida one that has been and you know upcoming trips but I hope you've enjoyed it anyway I hope it's shown you something a wee bit different somewhere else where you might like to go in your travels if you do have any questions please just let me know and if I can answer them I will do my absolute best to do that um but that is the Dubai vlogs finished for now the next vlog series will be when we go to Florida <laughs> we're going in July we fly out on the 5th of July which is just after Independence Day and we are flying with BA this time which is really exciting and it is all five of us going so last time it was only me, Joe and Jerry that went Joe and Jerry are two of my brothers um, however this time my other brother Michael is going along with his fiance Leslie so there's five of us going to Florida all together and I cannot wait so stick around please do come back the vlogs will probably start going up late july start of august and hopefully i will see you there but for the now thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed if you've got the time to please subscribe and i will see you later bye i've been feeling so small watch the clock ticking off the wall but tonight I'm Spend my coin for sure